Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This will be my first video of the year. I haven't had a proper farewell to 2001 and I haven't had a proper welcome to 2022. Um, there has been a rash of flu, people getting uh, troncaso or flu in the Philippines. It coincides with the spread of the Omicron variant. And unfortunately, uh, our welcome to this year is mostly uh, unfortunate as my wife and probably myself have contracted the COVID virus. Anyway, uh, 2021, one lone bright spot for me for 2021 was the amount of books that came out and uh, I will be taking a look opening some boxes that I have had delivered during the holiday season uh, that I haven't gotten to opening yet. So this is uh, the oldest one from that batch. This is from, uh, I ordered this from Shopee. Uh, this is uh, Pinoy Creepy Pasta Volume 1. And this has uh, done by Carmelo Perlas, uh, yeah, a Facebook friend. I saw that he was, uh, what do you call this? He was uh, advertising it in his page, and I ordered it off Shopee or Lazada. I forgot. So, this is a digest size comic book, uh, Pinoy Creepy Pasta. So, I'm uh, thinking that it will be mostly uh, horror. Uh, this is published by... Uh, I don't see the name of the publisher. It's full-colored comics. See this. And um, artwork is very much a classic Filipino format as well classic Filipino and you could see also that uh, some are done in traditional traditionally rendered I think this is done uh, either with um, colored pencils and some are uh, digital so it's a mix of modern and traditional uh, artworks and uh, medium this is I think 160 pesos so I'll put down the link below if you are interested in uh, purchasing this Pinoy Creepypasta comics. This is very reminiscent of our classic format of uh, our Filipino comics format. So yeah, nice. Uh, it's colored. It's on glossy paper uh, for 160 pesos. So yeah, very nice. Uh, if you are into creepy stories, horror stories, and our traditional Filipino comics, please do get a copy of Pinoy Creepy Pasta comics. Uh, next one is uh, this one also has been in the house for a bit, a bit, zero, two weeks, two weeks now. The, I ordered this off the Comic at Comic at website comic at uh, Shopee shop the shop in Shopee <laughs> secret HQ yeah I think that's it and as you can see this package quite well um, to protect its uh, content okay, let's see let's see let's open it very nice packaging this is to protect the edges. <laughs> this is R.H. Kilantang's Magnum Opus, 500 plus pages, uh, done in five years. So, if you are not familiar with Sir R.H. Kilantang, I did an interview with him as part of my comic Quentuhan series. Uh, we talked briefly about 
some of his books and we also talked about this amazing book that I am now opening uh, ang mga litap-tap ng pulang buhangi let's open it so if you are interested in getting a copy of this book please do look for it at Comicat Secret HQ uh, and also uh, Comicat the Comicat shop in Lazada and in Shopee. See, comes well packaged. So as uh, to uh, very nice. Uh, it features uh, two kinds of lamination: matte lamination for the background and a spot lamination on the on the title and on uh, the main image very nice and then at the back part there is a uh, blurbs from bong redila eric cabahog and jing lihano mm -hmm. and like i said this is hardbound uh, this is published by biglang kuago which is rh kilantang's publishing and uh, comic app so uh, very nice Comic it. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> so this is a uh, how many pages? Five hundred plus pages. Uh, I think I talked about this in my other videos. I'll put down the link as well for where you can uh, where you can uh, get a copy. Uh, I have already read this, and I think I already mentioned it several times. This is a very good read. Somebody asked me before if it was worth it uh, for its price tag, and yes, it is so much worth it, and it is so much, uh, actually, I think it's worth more. So uh, get your chance to grab a copy, buy a copy of this. This will be uh, one of the more... Uh, talked about books in the years to come. So that is the Ang Mga Alitap-Tap ng Pulang Buhangin by R.H. Kilantang. Very nice book. Very, very nice. And last but not least is a book that I just got. Uh, I ordered this around November or October. Uh, I forgot, but later quarter of last year, which is 2021. Uh, and finally got my copy uh, 2022 uh, but I think this is well worth it uh, this is the second installment of Sir Arnold Ares sequel to mythology class which is The Children of Bathala, Book 2. Uh, as you can see, it says here it's Book 2 of 5. So there is still like 3 <laughs> that we should be looking out for. Uh, and as you can already see, this is a very thick book. Imagine if they will compile all books into one big volume. So, Children of Bathala by, of course, Sir Arnold Array, sequel to Mythology Class. So, um, oh, comes with a postcard. Nice printed. And uh, Children of Bathala, Arnold Array. And book, book, uh, bookmarks. <laughs> uh, this one you could order through Chamber Shell on Nautilus Pop Comics. Yes. Very nice. You can see it. I'm already excited to read it. Uh, I've read the first part of it because they sent us uh, a chapter to tide us over while we wait for the actual book. Uh, and looking at it right now, I, I can't wait to read it. So, yeah. 
get your copies as well i'll put down also the link below so that you know where you could get your copy uh this is uh, book two of the children of batala sequel to mythology class very nice uh of course everyone knows when, when you get a book from arnold aries it's always something special so that's my welcome to 2022 looking forward to more filipino comic books uh, hope to be able to purchase uh, more books for local books after uh, hope to be able to release uh, some of my own books as well so uh, thank you for watching the video that's my video for today and uh, please do keep us in mind uh, we are still uh, on the fence uh, my wife is still in isolation so yes uh, once again keep safe keep healthy let us support filipino comics creators let us support uh, filipino comics titles thank you and see you uh, in the next videos welcome to 2022